The conventional healthcare system is really a sick care system. Doctors that work in this capacity are taught to give pills for symptoms of disease. Rarely, if ever, are real solutions discussed. By keeping people sick, people keep coming back and spending healthcare dollars on treatments that keep them functionally ill. What if I told you that there are solutions to reversing disease and regenerating the body's cells? What if I also told you that there are doctors offering this option to patients right now? Well, I'm about to tell you, so stay tuned and find out. So before stem cell therapy, athletes pretty much had the option of um, a steroid injection or surgery. It required a great deal of downtime before they could get back in the game. Now that we have stem cell therapy, it's offering a brand new option. The competitive athlete pushes their limits beyond what the human body was meant to do. How stem cell therapy can benefit that is that it can help to repair the damage they're doing to their bodies on a daily basis. And that's the great story behind these successful teams, stem cell therapy. I'm Dr. Victoria Munoz and I specialize in regenerative medicine. Regenerative medicine is a specialty area of medicine that serves to heal and repair the body and reverse aging by providing the tools to stimulate the body's intrinsic ability to heal. My goal as a doctor is to educate, heal, and reach the masses with the message of regenerative medicine. So what is regenerative medicine? Well, regenerative medicine is a specialty area of medicine that uses the application of biologics to rebuild injured tissue back to its original healthy state. We see the regeneration of body parts in nature. For example, the salamander can regrow its tail, limb, or other body parts if severed. And the human can regrow a fingertip before the age of 11. The human liver is also an example of the great regenerative potential of nature. And this is the only organ capable of completely repairing over the human's lifetime. Regenerative medicine, though commonly referred to as stem cell therapy, reaches far beyond this application. Regenerative medicine must also include building up the body's own healing power for the best possible health outcome. When implementing regenerative therapy such as stem cell therapy, the body must be optimized for healing. Over time, the body loses its ability to self-regulate healing and needs to be reminded. There are many contributing factors to the decline in spontaneous healing, including poor diet, poor health habits, environmental exposures, and stress. These are issues that we have touched on in previous episodes. While improving the patient's overall health while simultaneously implementing regenerative therapies to repair damaged tissue, the patient not only recovers, but is set up for a long-term positive outcome. Our goal in regenerative medicine is to awaken the body and tap into its intrinsic ability to heal. As the body begins to decline in function as we age, we must work to rebuild it back up by boosting immune and hormone production, improving the patient's overall health, and the use of regenerative therapies for the purpose of optimizing health and longevity. So why do we need regenerative medicine? Well, let's start with soft tissue repair. The tissues of joints, such as tendon, ligament, cartilage, and vertebral discs, tend to repair very slowly and incompletely. This is due to the fact that these tissues had to trade good circulation for tensile strength. A good blood supply is required for healing since the immune cells circulate through the blood to arrive to the injured area. So when these tissues are injured, they often do not repair and will continue to degenerate over time for this reason. It is not uncommon when I compare a patient's recent MRI to an MRI from a year prior to see significant degenerative changes have taken place. 
And then there's chronic inflammation. Eliminating chronic inflammation is an important part of healing the body. We've already discussed how acute inflammation is the immune system's response to healing an injury. However, once inflammation becomes chronic, it does nothing more than damage tissue cells and break down the body. It's important to reduce chronic inflammation while simultaneously inducing healing. For example, stem cells contain cytokines. These cells are programmed to follow inflammation. This is important for healing. However, if there is inflammation throughout the body, instead of remaining at the injury site where injected, these cells would disperse throughout the body. This is counterintuitive when treating an injury since we want these cells to remain concentrated at that injury site for a powerful healing outcome. We need to boost healing potential. A strong immune system equals better healing from injuries. Keeping the body healthy frees up the immune system to address important issues. If we are constantly exposing the body to insults such as sugar, stress, and environmental toxins, for example, our immune system will be busy attempting to mitigate these issues and will not be available for healing. Remember, cytokines follow inflammation, and if the body is inflamed, we do not heal. Quality of life. Living with chronic disease can be debilitating. The good news is that we have solutions to these problems. By healing the body, we can optimize the body's healing potential. By optimizing the body's healing potential, we suffer from less chronic pain. When we suffer from less chronic pain, we have quality of life. Tune in for our next episode where we will begin talking about the role of inflammation and healing. If you'd like more details or would like to get a head start, you can purchase my book, The Pain Solution. You will find two links in the description below. One is to purchase the book on Amazon. The other is to message us directly through my website to request a signed copy of the book for no extra cost. Hey guys, please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to receive all notifications so that you don't miss out on more great videos to come. Also, please leave a comment below on how this video has helped you. I am Dr. Victoria Munoz, CEO and owner of Regenerative Sports Medicine and Anti-Aging, where we've been rebuilding bodies since 2017. Until next time, take care.